Hi my lovelies, today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how I colour changed my inflow because I know a lot of people have, have been asking since I put up the video and the pictures and this is the matching kimono that I did okay uh, I'm not standing up for this because I look a right mess I just took the cap for a walk so I'm sitting down for this bit and then the actual inflow this is the one I did previously and this is the one I did chocolate brown and it still has the patterns running through it okay and for this one I chose my other inflow that I'm not that 100% certain with now I don't know if this is gonna this is the jacket part I don't know if that's going to color out I've been finding with some of these silks they are not budging they're really not that one did but I've had trouble with a Stevie and a kimono so I don't know so anyway but we'll try so this is this one navy with this color but and whilst I do I love the pattern it's just I just figured well let's do that and see if we can get that a more I'm hoping to remove the blue kind of color and the color and then just dye it sort of in the same kind of tone okay and then the next one is my inflow that's navy blue with these beautiful colors running through it I didn't want to <coughs> I didn't want to um, change any of the others that I've got but what I am looking for to be honest is some kind of green but uh, a colorful green depending on what dyes I've got so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color remove use a color remover on this and I'm going to use it on this and we're going to see what color it comes out first as the base um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I do want to put the bands the elastic bands down it so that when instead of getting a uniform color all the way down when I dye it I get sort of you know I get the tie-dye kind of look which I really like I'm really liking that kind of a look and that works really well if you if you're going to do sort of a darker color that works really well on a lighter color obviously you want it lighter underneath so this I'm going to try and keep just with the pattern in it and one plain color and then this is the one that I'm going to try and remove some of the color and then it should lighten up these darker bits enough that when I put the bands around and dye it a darker color then it should be lighter underneath you know what I'm saying okay let's get to it okay my lovelies I'm back in the kitchen so this is what you're going to need we're doing the silk one first okay so for this video this is just the silks and I'm going to be using the RIT remover, colour remover, one box. A couple of things you're going to need. A big pan. I don't have one. I'm going to use the wok. But I'm not going to be able to use that to cook with again, obviously. But what can you do? So get a big pan that you, you're only going to use for doing this. You know, you don't want to be using it after. A pair of scissors to cut the top off. If you're going to do this you might want to set yourself up on the side with some kitchen towel of some kind and whatever your bodger is to bodge the fabric in and then a pair of tongs or something just to move you know the fabric around that's what I found helps and always wear your gloves you all know you've always got to wear your gloves okay so the water is boiling at the moment and I'm getting it hot And it is actually boiling and I'm going to put the whole of this in because I'm doing two items well, I'm going to hope to do two items I've got through a lot of this the last couple of days So what I'm going to do, um, on Eva's video she waited until it was boiling, boiling, boiling beyond belief. I don't know, I didn't do that with my last one, I just did it so it was boiling but I mean it wasn't beyond belief. And I'm going to try this first. Before you try any of the canther fabrics, uh, any of the silk fabrics, just check them over. Make sure, 
because remember they've been used a lot these fabrics and, and redone so if you're gonna re-go over something make sure that it's in good enough nick should one say for you to do this kind of thing too because you don't want it sort of falling apart and I have no idea if it's going to change we are in this together guys My thing is, if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's the way it wants to be. And if it does, it does. I notice that the green has changed. Oh, it is lightening up. For a minute, I thought I'd forgotten to press record. Wow. Actually, she's going a lovely color. Didn't take a long time for the other one either. It took like seconds. That beautiful colour, she's got like a very pale blue. And sort of an orangey colour. And I haven't fully decided what colour I'm going to do this whole lot yet, but I guess if the other thing goes as, as light as this, you know, I can more or less work with a couple of things. This definitely has an orange undertone to it now. See? I mean, to me, that's good enough. That's the that's how I want it. I'll throw that in the sink a minute. Maybe I'll come back to it in a minute. I don't know. Depends how light this goes. If this goes light at all. We're not going to use the same water, but we're going to dunk. I'm going to turn that off now because I. You know what? I found you only want it boiling and then you, you know, then you can, because look, that's changing already. You can see how she's changed. And the pattern's still on there. The pattern's come through as red now. So she's turned a yellowy colour and sort of a creamy colour. You can see from there. But at least it's light enough now that when I put a colour over the top of it, when I put the bands on it, it's going to come through. And you can see this is real time. This was well, taken five minutes for all this, but this is real time. And I'm making me sure that we try to get it to be as even as possible. And she's gone, definitely gone a a lighter colour. I think that's good enough. For me that's good enough for what I want. So I'm going to put them both in the sink and just give them a quick rinse. Okay my darling, so I've just taken her out of the sink. I gave her a good couple of cleans and she's actually come out quite a nice sort of already got some green running through I like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bands on her now um, and I don't have many bands <laughs> but this just this just gives it that sort of um, tie-dye kind of look and all I'm going to do she is still wet but all I'm going to do is just do a few around the middle because this is this is going to be more of a, a solitary color let me just put a towel on the floor she is dripping and I've got my water boiling as you can see 
So I'm going to just, put a, like I say, put as many bands as you want. And if you don't want to put bands on it, don't put bands on it. I was even umming and ahhing about what colour to do her, but I've got a brown. I've done that sort of, I've done a, like the ready pinky type one. So I thought, well, let's do the green. And I don't have a lot of bands, so yeah, just your rubber bands. And it doesn't really matter where you put them, just get them on there. Hoping this turns out okay, obviously. Um, it's difficult knowing what colours to do them, you know, just. Uh, And then on the bottom of the feet, I took some little tiny ones, just put a few down there. Now it might not come out that it colours it too much because I only have these two colours. I've got the apple green and the dark green. So I don't know. I don't know how dark it's going to come out. But I guess we'll find out. So that is pretty much all the bands I'm going to do. And that's just a pocket. And it's pretty consistent all the way down. Okay. The next thing I'm going to need to do is the down of my gloves. Green's not really my colour. I'm saying green's not really my colour. I wear the green dress. I just wanted to see how this would come out. I'm going to need some salt. I kind of eyeball the salt. dark green in first and I've got about a third of it left so I'm just going to pop that in and I'm going to mix it up with the apple green like I say I, I, I don't know I don't know what kind of green I want I don't think I want like a deep foresty green but you know what I'm going to get but the apple will lighten it for sure I think My girl is doing good, she's doing good. So we're going to dunk this girl first, okay? And I'm just going to go for it. Another thing you've got to know is that when it's in the pan, it will look super, super dark, but when you wash it, it does get a bit lighter. So I don't think I mind about how light it goes though. just have a nice green tinge to it so it will look really dark forest green now I don't know maybe when I wash it it'll look forest green I don't know but uh, at the moment see that colors taking well oh she can't be dark I don't know what colour I'm going to do the, uh, the shrug yet, the matching shrug, probably not exactly the same colour, I'll probably add a different colour to this mixture and then just to do that a slightly different colour, but at the moment this is looking good. As to how long you leave it in for, it's up to you, this looks like it's taken already. I mean, that looks like it's really taken to me. I think I'm going to take that out now, put her in the sink. In a minute. Let 
me decisive. No. Okay. Can you go across here? Okay, so I just put some more water back in there and all I'm going to do is get this and I'm just going to dunk it. I don't want it to be too dark. I just want it to be sort of a more uniform colour. want to be able to see that pattern if possible okay I think that's going to be enough for me I really do you'll notice that I didn't put the the color stay in here the color fix tip I'm out of it at the moment but once these have been washed and that you know I can go and get I can do that at a later time I just want to get this out for now We'll do clean up. <laughs> My thing would be go lighter to start off with because you can go darker, you know, more and more as you go on. I can't believe my soup is still. <laughs> machine in a minute that you worry. I like to take out just the bulk of the colour. I don't mean the bulk of the colour from this, I mean so that I'm not putting the whole thing in the washing machine at all, you know, got too dying. clean up to do okay guys so these are going to go in the washing machine and i'm going to do them so they're going to get two washes one um on a very cool cool wash for about 20 minutes and then just with the detergent and then the second one with detergent and softener which will be the second one and then we'll bring them out and see what they look like and then i'll do some cleaning okay my lovely so they've had one wash just one so far and this is the top see how it got a lot lighter it's got some different shadow going through it you can see of where the flower was but it's not too bad because the actual fabric itself has a lovely sort of design through it so that's going to have a second wash and now this lady is going to get a second wash but before I do the second wash I take these off the elastic the elastics so that it gets it washes that bit as well just so that some of the dye still fades over into that color but only a wee bit see 
So when it washes, look at the blue put through that now. It's going to be nice. Maybe the green was a good colour choice. Another one. Three. Da, 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 da. Next one. Four. So in the next wash, she will also have the fabric softener put in her. And I'm just throwing these in the washing machine, guys. But it is on the low heat for about 24 minutes, I think. Okay. So this is what I've got so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash her again. And give her some fabric off. Here she is, my darlings. So I've paired her with an orange cami. Before I style it, I just want to show you my little styling hack that I discovered um, for this inflow. And it works, well, I think it works quite good. If you're like me and sometimes you have days where you need the bathroom quite a bit or maybe you're pregnant or, or for whatever reason, maybe you just don't like the inflow, the bit at the top. So what I can do, I think I'm okay doing this is my boy shorts that I have on these are a nude colored okay so I am wearing them so what I do is I roll this into my boy shorts to make a pair of pants okay so I'm just rolling it And it makes a nice pair of pants and then I get my cami or whatever I've got and pop it on over the top and then what you can do and then you've got a nice pair of pants they are a little bit more dropped crotch but they are really comfy so you know like I say there's some days some days you might just want to change it up and that way what you can do is you can wear sort of a longer layer underneath and you see how I've I love these little tops for this purpose you know i love wearing this top with these i think they go really well so you see or if you had one of those longer tunics with the lace or something you know it's really up to you but now you could see that you have a pair of pants and i have worn my other ones as a pair of pants the entire day and i've had absolutely no trouble they haven't kept coming down or nothing so that's my little hack okay so if you do have an inflow and you're thinking it's not really for me because I have to keep going to the toilet and I want to lay up over it with something cooler, that's your little hack. I mean, you got a pair of pants and not only that, but you got a pair of really nice, comfortable pants. So this is her as she is. And this is how I... I'm going to put this on. I mean, I don't have to. I just absolutely love wearing these little, these little tops over the top of it. So this is how I'm going to style her, this, like this. And then if I wanted to just be a little bit more sort of, you know, not everyone likes a lot of pattern and everything like that. This is how this came out and she has a little bit of sheen. But look at the look at the pattern running all the way through her. Can you see that, guys? So she came out a lighter colour. I would say the colours of these are more your apple, like Granny Smith kind of kind of colours. You know, like that. And then we've got a necklace. It's not a colour, I've got to be honest. I do have some green things that I do wear occasionally. It's not a colour I wear a lot. But uh but I kind of like, you know, I kind of like how this turned out. And then if you want to pop a kimono on, this is uh, the kimono from Style Park. This is all Camphor Bay, but this is a Style Park kimono. I suppose you could wear any kimono over the top. I mean, this is definitely a layered look. And then my shoes... I've paired up with the with the sort of the orangey colour. And then if you just leave this sort of a little bit loose here, 
it just sort of falls into what I would think is sort of a scarf effect. I had to wear my hat today, guys, because y'all know I wash my hair um, at night time and then it's a bit jacked up in the morning. But anyhow, this is... How she turned out and i think she turned out really i mean she's really more versatile now for anyone looking and thinking i love the color of her before i did too but i will wear this more because i have more of the of these kind of colors in and now if i want to change the color yeah. anyhow i hope if you are going to look at over dyeing one of yours um you have great results with it eva fox credit to her because I, I got my tutorial off her on how to do it correctly um, and if you go to the Canterbury Bay Besties page on Facebook there are um, and, and I think if you type in Eva Fox her tutorial might be there um, but yeah and then give it a go find the one colour that you know you'll wear more of look at what what clothing you've already got in and you know do yourself a versatile piece in the meantime, thank you for watching guys.